Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Hi, nice to hear from you. When does your plane leave? It leaves in 20 minutes. Good. Can you pick me up from the airport? Have you heard about Alice and David? No. Have they had another fight? No. They've got engaged. You must be joking. Those two? Well, my dear, I didn't believe it either. But I got it straight from the horse's mouth. David called me this morning. So when did this all happen? Last weekend, while they were on their ski trip. Well, I believe it now. And when are they are getting married? Next June. I can hardly believe it. I'm afraid I can't go to the pictures with you tomorrow. Busy with your work again? Not really. I'm expected to attend a meeting. I'm not at all convinced. Tomorrow is Saturday. I absolutely love what you're wearing today. You do? I just bought this outfit a couple days ago. Seriously, it looks really nice on you. Where did you buy it from? I bought it from the Macy's at the Santa Anita Mall. I really like that outfit. Thanks. I think you look nice today, too. Thank you. I just bought these new shoes earlier today. Those are nice. What are they? These are some chucks. Those are great. How much were they? I got them for 40. I think I might go and find me my own pair of chucks. Hello. Nice to see you again. I heard you went into hospital for a few days to undergo surgery. I hope everything's okay. Yes, fine. I had something wrong with my stomach. I won't go into detail, but it wasn't serious. I really dislike going to a doctor or to a hospital. I think most people are a little nervous about it. I was really very, very nervous just before I had the operation. But the anesthetist gave me an anesthetic and the next thing I remember was waking up after the operation. It must have really hurt afterwards. Well, the nurse gave me plenty of painkillers, but it did feel uncomfortable. I wasn't permitted to eat anything for 48 hours. That was the worst thing. I bet you were ready for a thick juicy steak when you got out of hospital. I certainly was. However, the doctor gave me a list of food I couldn't eat for another 72 hours, and steak was on the list. Is there any pain now? No, not at all. I stopped taking painkillers after a couple of days. Did they take good care of you in the hospital? Oh, yes. The nurse were very kind, though they were strict about what I could drink. In the end, I just drank water and nothing else. Everyone was very professional and I actually enjoyed some aspects of my stay. Hello, Jill. Tom, you're back. Come in, please. How are you? Fine. Only a little tired. You'll recover after a good night's sleep. Thank you very much for looking after my house in my absence. That's all right. Would you have a cup of coffee? Yes, please. It's very kind of you. Don't mention it. The rooms are very tidy and the flowers grew very well. You are very helpful. I want to thank you for everything you've done for me.
It's my pleasure. I bought you some books on literature. I don't know if you would like them. Thank you. Thank you for the trouble you've taken. Not at all. What's wrong with Debbie today? She seems upset about something. I have no idea. Maybe she had a fight with her husband. Hide me, Yi Jun. The kids all think I'm the real Easter bunny. Ah, that's sweet. I knew your costume would be a success. It's a success, all right. The kids keep trying to catch me. Yeah, I saw that. I thought you were playing a game with them. Some game. You try being tackled by ten kids at once. Um. Holly, look behind you. They're coming this way. Excuse me, sir. Do you know what time it is? Oh, it's almost eleven twenty. Thank you. You're welcome. The rain is quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah, I was in a hurry and I forgot my umbrella today. I have one. We could share it. Which way are you going? Oh, that's very kind of you. I am going to the Garden Hotel. I am going there too. We can walk together. Sure. It's very kind of you to invite me to dinner. Please sit down and make yourself at home. Please don't stand on ceremony. This dish is really delicious. I'm glad that you like it. This is only the first time that I made it. You're great. Could you say it in Chinese? Sure. We call it doubt. Mr. Martin, we're on arrival. It's nice of you to see my off at the airport. Thank you very much. We'll miss you. I hope we'll keep in touch. Sure. You've given a great help to me in the past days. It's my pleasure. We hope you'll visit Beijing again. Certainly. I'll be glad to. It's almost time to get aboard. Yes, we should go. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye bye. Have a pleasant journey. Jack's been looking unhappy lately. His girlfriend broke up with him. No wonder. I'd be unhappy too. Happy birthday, Lillian. Here's a little present I bought for you. Thank you, Paul. You seem to be very tired. Yes, I have been working for eight hours. Why don't you join us to go out for a walk? No, really, I'm not in the mood for it. All right, but these are black, and I don't like black shoes. They're dull. Well, black is a better color than pink. Pink's for girls. Then why are you wearing black shoes? Because oh, all right, you win. Let's pay for them and go. Hey, thanks, mom. Mom, you know that Andrea and I sometimes worry about you. Really? Why would you worry about me? I'm just fine. You're almost seventy years old, Mom. Don't you think it would be better for you if you moved in with us? No way. I like my apartment, and I like to be independent. Do you ever get lonely living alone? Not at all. I see you and your family twice a week, 
and I enjoy seeing my own friends. I'm too busy to feel lonely. Her ex-boyfriend was terrible, but this new one is even worse. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Which film shall we see? There is nothing good at the moment. Let's do something different. Would you like to go to a concert? Yes, I'd love to. Here is a good one, Mozart and Beethoven. It's on the festival hall. Shall we go there? Fine. Do you want anything to eat now? No, I'm not hungry. Well, let's go and have something to drink instead. I know a good place. It's a little expensive, but it's fun. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.